Hi y'all, welcome to my Grits and Gouda Southern Shortcut Recipes Kitchen. Today we are making air fryer fried okra. It is so good. You can also make this in the oven and if you want to you can um, fry it in a pan but today we're doing air fryer and you won't believe how easy it is and um, how quick. So the first thing you're gonna need, well, let's go ahead and start preheating the air fryer. Um, I, I just use the preset. Air fry brings up to 390, or you can make it go to 400, depending on your air fryer. And this one does not preheat for you. So a good amount of time for preheating is three minutes. So we're just gonna do that. And this air fryer is fairly quiet, so we're gonna let that preheat while uh, we start the okra. I wanted to give you a tip. I try to give y'all lots of tips and tricks. If your cutting board slides around at all on your countertop, put a kitchen towel or a couple of wet paper towels and they won't move. Because when you're cutting with a chef's knife, you want everything to be um, stable. So you're going to need about three cups, give or take, or maybe eight ounces of okra. It comes from my garden, at least it does this time of year. So this is probably about three days worth of picking in my little garden. And you can also measure it as about two and a half to three cups when it's sliced. So you're also gonna need a third of a cup of cornmeal, not cornmeal mix, although if that's what you have, it actually will work need one egg white. This is where the magic happens in the egg white. And about a half a teaspoon of salt. You can use table salt or a little bit more of kosher salt. So uh, another tip that I wanted to give you that if you are bringing your okra in from the garden or if you're bringing it home from the grocery store, here's the bag. You can tell I've got paper towels in there. Every time I bring a little batch of okra in, I will put a dry paper towel right on top, put the okra in there, and then I don't close the bag completely. I just let it stay open like that. That uh, paper towel will uh, absorb the moisture, and the moisture is what creates the deterioration and the mold. So, And that's how I can just keep on adding okra uh, to my um, bag as I pick it. So that's a little tip there. So the first thing we're going to do, this to me is about the perfect size okra. You know, there was a day or two I might have let it go a little long. This is still good. You just want to be careful not to get too big of okra because then the seeds start to get too firm and the pods will get firm. So you don't really have to cut off the tip. Uh, it is definitely edible. The reason I do is so that it will cook evenly. So I cut off the end and the tip, and you want to cut about one half inch thick. See that? The main thing is you want to cut them evenly so that they cook evenly. So we're going to cut this up, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. timing because our um, air fryer is now preheated so this right here will go in my compost bin all right so the okra is ready now you want to take a large bowl and your one egg white this is what the okra is going to cling to the okra and then the meal will cling to the egg white and that's how it's going to be air fried you can oven fry this um, don't forget the salt I got some salt here um, you want to whip this just to, just to where it is foamy and then we'll spray some oil on it before we go in there so that right there so egg white about two and a half cups and really it's whatever okra you have that it's amazing how that egg white uh, kind of goes as far as you need it to so I've got my tongs here you really just 
stir this up and let it get coated. Okay, it's all coated. This is a good time to add your salt. It's about a half a teaspoon of salt. You can also add salt at the end. This where if you add it right now, it kind of makes sure it gets on the okra because sometimes the cornmeal can get there first. All right, set that aside. And again, I use, uh, I use yellow cornmeal most of the time just because um, you like to eat with your eyes first and I think the yellow is just so pretty. Now look at that. It is completely coated. The, it is sticking to the egg white. Isn't that great? All right, now I'm going to use my paper towel, put that there. All right, so we preheated the air fryer. Now, my air fryer has uh, nonstick grates, okay? So I don't like to use pan cooking spray on the nonstick surface. So I use an oil spray and we're gonna grease that first. Then we're going to just pour in. You wanna do a single layer, so depending on, let's see, I'm going to not crowd the okra. So depending on the size of your air fryer, it's how much you can get in there. You can do a huge batch. I have a double size air fryer that I could do all of them in. So then you're going to coat the okra. So it's not like air frying means no oil, it just means a whole lot less. So spray it in here, press preset to air fry or 400 if you wanna go that high. And let's, let's start with six minutes. And then depending on your air fryer, uh, you can always add more. It's hard to take it away if it's too done. So we're going to air fry that for six minutes and then we'll check it. I'll probably check it at four minutes and give it a shake and then go again. About four minutes. We'll give it a shake. Almost done. We'll wait a couple more minutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's check it. Y'all, it is perfect. Perfectly fried okra, but fried in the, do y'all hear how crispy that is? Falling into the bowl. All right, I'm gonna put this back in just real quick. Now this is a silicone trivet, so it can withstand those hot temperatures. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rest of these in there. Make it one layer, spray the oil, and put it in, air fry or 400. We're gonna go, I think seven minutes was perfect. So we'll let that batch go, but mmm, look here. Now, again, if you wanna put a little salt on right when it comes out, it'll stick to it. Yum, look how pretty that is. And so crunchy, no messy batter to batter and no dredging in three different kind of uh, flour and cornmeal. That egg white is magic. So let's try this. Crunchy, so yummy, so good. Really air frying or oven frying is the way we do the fried okra all the time and have for years. Don't get me wrong, I love, hey, if you wanna serve me fried okra, I'm gonna eat it. But if I'm gonna make it, I'm probably gonna air fry it or oven fry it. So, so, try one more. Mmm. Hey, I'm gonna salt. So if you want more Southern Shortcut recipes, how to make Southern recipes, but shorter, 
then go to gritsandguru.com and follow me. If you are on YouTube watching, then don't forget to subscribe and follow me and follow me on Facebook. And um, I will see you next time here in my kitchen. Bye, y'all.